Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today we will discuss and demonstrate the new hazard analysis process for contractors and government personnel. We will begin in contractor mode in the contract menu. Navigating over to the QC tab, select the hazard analysis module. Previous versions of activity hazard analysis can still be edited and sent for review, but will have a slightly different edit view than future versions. Let us examine the differences by adding a new activity hazard analysis and assigning it a specific title. Starting at the top, we can see some of the main changes starting with the breakdown of different fields. The fields highlighted in red indicate mandatory information that must be completed before the hazard analysis can be finalized and submitted for review. It is always recommended to complete this edit view with as much necessary information to ensure proper documentation for each analysis. Next, we will add a hazard step by clicking the Add button. Each of these fields below are required before proceeding. Job steps, hazards, actions taken to eliminate or minimize hazards, as well as the severity and probability. The severity and probability drop-down fields will determine the overall risk assessment. These selections can be referenced in the code matrix. Use the code matrix button at the top and review each hazard with identified safety controls. Reference this risk assessment code matrix to better identify and determine the overall risk for each hazard step. Now we can add at least one piece of hazardous equipment. Please ensure that the equipment title is included, as it is a required field. For the purposes of this demonstration, no equipment was utilized, as this report does not necessitate its inclusion for completion. Now we may add any personnel involved. This list is derived from all of the contractor staff entered in the contractor staff module. No additional names can be entered in this section. Therefore, if an individual involved is not listed, they must be added to the contractor staff. Alternatively, the report will need to be completed outside of the RMS platform and the final version uploaded manually. Now we can either manually upload an ENG 6206 or automatically generate this report. For this demonstration, we will generate our document in RMS. RMS will display a warning that by proceeding, this hazard analysis will no longer be editable and will need to be signed by all involved personnel before being submitted for review. All signees may enter the document package and sign the traditional ways or simply select their name and click the Sign ENG 6206 button. RMS will display a smaller preview of the activity hazard analysis for reference. We can proceed by clicking OK, entering our credentials and sign. Please note that each member cannot sign on behalf of another user and the selection will be grayed out. For our demonstration, each of these users are testing accounts and will not reflect the typical signing process. Now that all parties have signed, we can now submit our analysis for review. Note that the status of the document package will not change until an action of submitting has occurred. In government mode, we can see the newly submitted analysis report, add any government remarks, sign all attachments, and either accept or return this analysis based on our findings. For this demonstration, we will accept this analysis to complete this process. Proceeding with this option will accept all document packages and will require user credentials to confirm. As a reminder, RMS revision history will still be included at the bottom. 